Hi everyone, so today we are talking about novels and series I want to read this summer. So getting right into it, The Cheerleaders. I believe it's a murder mystery. Yeah, I tried to get into reading it a while back ago, but I was too distracted. So this is definitely a story I would like to read in the summer because I'll have more time to focus, hopefully. I've heard people say it's like Riverdale, which I never saw that. So if you like Riverdale, then maybe you'll like this. Next up is The Lovely Bones. Now I saw the movie a few times and the movie makes me cry so hard because it's so, so sad. And I saw the book at a yard sale and was like, I want that. And I bought it for 50 cents. So I would love to read it. It's really dark. In case you've never seen The Lovely Bones, it's basically about a girl who is walking home from school and the neighbor basically, like, kidnaps her and then she is murdered and it just drives the family insane that their daughter is gone. It's so, so sad. It's really emotional. It's depressing because, like, usually when you watch movies like that, it's, like, horrifying. It's, you know, it's jump scares. It's scary. You know, think of, like, Halloween, you know? But The Lovely Bones is, like, realistic. It's, like, it's scary, but it's the most depressing thing ever because it focuses on the victim's family. It doesn't focus on the killer, so. I think most books focus on the killer's perspective, and I feel like it's a little bit toxic because people then root for the killer instead of the victim's family or the victim, you know? It's just really, really tragic, so... I feel like it's good to have books that tell the victim's perspective, obviously. But next up is The Elephant Keeper. I've had this book for years and never got around to reading it because I lost it. But it is a book about a guy in the... This is a long time ago. This is 1766. He's in the year 1766, and he has two elephants. That's why it's called The Elephant Keeper. Um, yeah, I know nothing about it. I think there was a movie about it. I think. I don't remember really seeing it, though but I would like to read it. Next up is Getting Revenge on Lauren Wood. The back of the book says, In the final weeks of eighth grade, Lauren Wood made a choice. She betrayed her best friend, Helen. And that's where everything goes downhill, because now Helen wants revenge. Watch out, Lauren Wood. Things are about to get bitchy. I actually read a few of the first chapters, but I put it away because I didn't have the time to finish it. So I would like to finish it this summer because it's such a very intriguing book. I think it's more for, like, the younger audience, but I still like it. I want to read it and finish it. Next up is I Kissed Alice. I hate romance, by the way. I don't read it. I think it's terrible. I just don't vibe with it. Like, if you like romance, that's cool for you. I just don't like it because I guess, like, the idea of affection makes me cringe. Um, that's just my own problem. But I wanted to read this because I thought it was really cool. I don't know where I got it. I might have got it as a gift, I don't know, but it's about these two girls who love each other, and I am not straight, so this might be fun to read. I mentioned before how a lot of stories tell the story from the killer's perspective. A really good series to watch and read that is regarding the killer's perspective would be you. Okay? You ever watch You on Netflix with Joe Goldberg? Have you seen that show? I have watched it at least 20 times on repeat. I don't know. I just, I have anxiety. So instead of watching a new show, I just watch stuff that I already know. And I've been watching that show on repeat because although it's literally like insane, I know what's going to happen. So I just keep rewatching it because I'm too scared to watch something new. So... If you notice, when the show opens up in every single episode, it says based on the book by Caroline Kepnes. If you want to read the series, then get these books. I never read them. I tried to read them, but then I decided to wait. So, yeah. I only have the first two in the series, though. There's supposed to be four, I think. But I only have two because I think the rest of the series is based on the Netflix show, and I think the first two books that I have are just based on, like, the original plot. 
I could be totally wrong. Let me know. But I'd rather read the original plot than the Netflix show because if I wanted to read the Netflix show, I would just go watch it on Netflix instead. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But lastly, although I do not like romance, I got Call Me By Your Name because I saw the movie and it made me cry. Like, it's just so... It's an emotional roller coaster. It really is. I've seen people say it's an abuse story, but then other people say that it's a romance story. I feel like it depends on what perspective you're watching it from. It's just a really, really, like, I think it's an Oscar-winning movie, you know? And the book. I've seen a lot of comments about it, and it just seems like a crazy read. And the author, I believe, said the book isn't even about love, it's about lust. So, yeah. It, yeah, I just want to read it because Timothy Chalamet's on the cover. <laughs> I love him. Anyway, that's all I have to say for today. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.